Hello everyone, I'm Ryo Yoshikawa, a master course student at the University of Tokyo. Today I will present our work, Dual Check, on behalf of my co-authors. This is my undergraduate thesis work as well. I'm very happy to present the work here. Nowadays, I'm learning about internet security and ethics is critical for everyone. But not so many people have enough opportunities to learn in them. For example, an agency in Japan reported that only 17.9% of smart device users had experienced uh, online safety training. The lack of knowledge and awareness can lead to serious internet hazards. However, conventional learning style like um, e-learning are often affordable only for students or office workers. And there is a case that they can learn only once a year. It is necessary to learn them regularly because um, the knowledge decays as the time goes and the threats are more and more sophisticated nowadays. So we propose DioCheck, an interactive micro-learning system for online safety. Our idea is integrating online safety micro-learning into human verification tasks like capture. Micro-learning is a learning style that learners can uh, split learning tasks into smaller particles and learners can learn them in their spare time. Micro-learning has been often focused on in HCI fields for mainly for vocabulary development and our work extends the scope to um, human uh, online safety micro-learning. And we saw capture as suitable for micro-learning platform because many internet users encounter captures often when they uh, internet browsers. And conventional capture, like recapture, demands users to undo tasks. And we propose that, and to pr propose a question of online safety and ethics instead of conventional captures task. And this is the design of the dual check. DuoCheck asks users to respond to a question of online safety, and users can learn them by answering to the question and reading the explanations. And at the same time, DuoCheck performs human verification tasks based on users' household behavior, like recapture v2. It is important to note that this human verification process does not depend on whether the user answered correctly to the question. In this system, the learning process and the human verification process work simultaneously but separately. And we implemented a prototype on, that works in the web browsers. The current our prototype does not have an actual human verification function because the code of recapture was not available. And our main purpose is to investigate the learning effect of dual check. This is a demonstration of the dual check. Dual check is embedded in the web survey, and the user is answering to the survey. And then they have to answer to the question from dual check. This is a multiple choice question, and the user chose one statement. Then the cursor rotates and then shows answers and explanations and the user is ex reading the explanations. Then the submit button appears and the user can finish the survey. We next prepared 10 questions about online safety to use in dual check. Um, we thought that it is important that the question should neither too difficult nor too easy so that many users can learn meaningful things from dual check. We collected hot issues from some materials and made 25 questions. Then we conducted a crowdsourcing based study to verify the difficulty of uh, questions. Finally, we chose 10 questions and that have under 80% of correct answer rates. To verify the learning effect and the usability of dual check, we conducted a 15 day user study. We set the task design to be a practical situation of dual check usage. We next set two modes for dual check. The first mode we, that we call one time mode allows users to go next, even if they answered wrong to the questions. 
And the second mode that we call repeat mode demands the user to um, re answer repeatedly to the same question until they reach the correct answer. And we then recruited 34 participants from a uh, crowdsourcing platform and randomly split them to two uh, groups for based on one-time mode users and repeat mode users. On the first day of the deployment study, we asked participants to answer 10 questions that we made in our quiz creation process about online safety and ethics. Next, during the deployment study, we asked participants to answer to a questionnaire and then respond to a dual check question three times each day. At this time, dual check proposed one question and that selected from the quiz set. On the final day of the do, uh, deployment study, we asked participants to answer 10 questions again. And in addition, we made another 10 uh, question set that are similar to the original question sets and also ask them to solve them. Then uh, we verify the learning effect of dual check. And first, we focused on correct answer rate, which I will call accuracy, or that mean accuracy of the um, correct answer, and focus on the trend of mean accuracy. First, we conducted two-way ANOVA to verify the um, learning effect and compare the modes of two modes, um, the uh, one-time mode and repeat mode. So uh, for the mean accuracy, mean accuracy rose significantly after the deployment study. However, there were no significant difference between one-time mode users and repeat mode users. We then uh, incited more deeply on the um, each question's accuracy. And the original questions, nine questions shows significantly higher accuracy in day 15 than the first day. And for the similar questions that we ask only 15th day, um, five questions show significantly higher accuracy than general user accuracy. We then analyze the usability of dual check. We collected um, SUS score of dual check from participants and compared them to another captures. And the dual check score was significantly higher than that of text-based and picture-based capture. The score was lower than that of checkbox-based capture, but there was no significant difference between them. We also collected uh, free form comments from participants and participants gave us um, positive comments and important feedbacks for improving capture at uh, no, dual check. While our deployment study showed a positive aspects of dual check, there still be uh, limitations in our study. For example, we collected participants from crowdsourcing platform so the participants might be more accustomed to the internet technology because they often use internet for their work. And for future work, an investigation of other topics or formats of question would be important for enhance the potential of cap a dual check. And thinking more practical aspects of dual check is also important. For example, it is necessary to maintain and update all the questions because um, the threats and attacks are even more and more sophisticated nowadays. In conclusion, our deployment study confirmed the positive learning effect and how you perceive usability of dual check. So we conclude that dual check would help internet users learning about online safety and ethics in their daily lives. This is a summary of the presentation. Thank you for listening.